Hello, and welcome to another edition of AWSP News. And welcome to February, which we've branded as Future Educators Month. This month, we're encouraging principals and teachers across the entire state to tap someone on the shoulder who you think would make a good principal or teacher. You might remember this as part of our Give Them Your Keys campaign. Check out this clip, and while you watch, think of someone you think would make an exceptional school leader. The project is, is I ask every staff member to identify a student that inspires them to come to work every day. So, I picked you as my inspiration. So, Abigail, I want you to know that I come to work every morning to work with kids just like you. All right, now that you've got that person in mind, why not send them to AWSP's third annual Future School Leaders Day on February 26th in SeaTac. Send your teacher leaders and student leaders to come learn about the world of school leadership. Already have somebody interested in becoming a principal? Encourage them to apply for our intern grant, which is now open. Applications for our Network Improvement Community Grant are still open. The funds are designed to help tackle a problem of practice with a network of principals in your region. Learn more about these grants in Principal Matters or contact me if you have any questions. You know what else happens in February? Black History Month. And we've got some great resources from books and case studies to great TED Talks in this edition of Principal Matters, courtesy of our Diversity and Equity Advisory Council. Advisory councils are just one of the many ways our members can get more involved in AWSP. To learn more about ways to get involved, let's turn the clock back and recap our January Leadership and Advocacy Weekend. First of all, let's just say thanks to all the principals and assistant principals who participated. Our AWSP board met Friday afternoon and Saturday morning, highlighted by a great 90-minute Q&A with State Superintendent Chris Rakedahl who covered topics and fielded questions on dual credit, elementary lunch and recess, discipline, and as always, funding and staffing. Our grade level leadership committees met Saturday and Sunday. Glenna Gallo and Tanya May, both from OSPI, presented to the group about inclusionary practices before visiting each committee individually. Monday, January 31st, was the AWSP Day on the Hill. Many of our board and committee members joined our Advocacy Advisory Council to talk to their representatives about our legislative platform and the issues they face in their schools and communities. We really appreciate all the time and energy from everyone involved. A bunch of you who couldn't make it in person headed to the Advocacy and Action Center on our website to make your voice heard. And we'd encourage you to do that again for Senate Bill 6615, which is a staffing enrichment bill. Supporting the bill means increasing days for professional development and increasing the ratio of counselors, instructional coaches, principals, and assistant principals in your schools. More adults mean more relationships, and we know stronger relationships lead to better learning, better culture, and safer schools. What else can you do? If you're a middle school principal and have emerging or established leaders in your school, send them to AWSL's Middle Level Regional. Registration season is here and events will be held throughout the state. The focus is on developing leadership potential in students in many areas, including self and social awareness, social engagement, involving others, improving school culture and climate, and much more. Find the link in Principal Matters. We suggest you act quickly, spots are filling up fast. Now that we're talking about registering for leadership events, it seems as good a time as any to register for summer conference. We've got a 2020 vision in store for you to help you gain focus, clarity, and insight. And we're really excited about our keynotes this year as we kick off with the TED Talking, Skateboarding, Relentless Principal Sensation, Hamish Brewer. If you're looking for a way to help fund your participation in summer conference, did you know you can use your district's TPEP funds, iGrants Package 664, to help pay for pre-conference or conference registration? If you have questions about that, contact me to learn more. Well, that's pretty much it from us this time. We'll leave you with one more reminder to nominate someone for Principal of the Year or Assistant Principal of the Year. 
Until the next time, thanks for all you do and keep up the great work for kids. I grants package 664 to help for... I was on a roll, man. I was you on a roll. On a roll. <laughs> hey, here we go. <laughs> All, right. All right. Hope you're ready for the next episode. Hey.